Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this topic. So finding the limits using this L'Hopital's rule, then we have this given, and if we're going to use a direct substitution, so since x approaches to negative 6, so this becomes 2 times negative 6 squared plus 9 times negative 6 minus 18, then over negative 6 plus 6 then to simplify so negative 6 squared that's positive 32 and positive 32 times 2 this one is 72 positive 9 times negative 6 that's negative 54 then negative 18 over negative 6 plus 6 this one is 0 then we have 72 minus 54, that's positive 18, and positive 18 minus 18, this one is 0 over 0. So this limit using direct substitution, the answer is indeterminate. So to solve for this limit using this L'Hopital's rule, we just need to find the derivative of this numerator and the derivative of this denominator. So to find the derivative using this formula, if we have x to the power n, to find the derivative, that's n times x to the power n minus 1. So if we have x to the power 3 to find the derivative, so this uh, exponent becomes the numerical coefficient, then minus 1 for the exponent, so that's x to the power 2. So the derivative of x to the power 3 is 3x to the power 2. But if we have 4x to the power 2, so we need to multiply this exponent and this numerical coefficient. So 2 times 4, that's 8. Then x minus 1 for the exponent, so that becomes 1. So that's 8x. So the derivative of 4x squared is 8x. Then for the derivative of x, this one is 1. For the derivative of 3x, that's 3. And for the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So this is how to find the derivative using this formula. So to find now the limits using this L'Hopital's rule, so again, we need to find the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of this denominator. So the derivative of 2x to the power 2, so multiply this 2 times 2, that's 4, then x minus 1, that's to the power 1. Then plus the derivative of 9x, that's 9, and the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then over the derivative of x, that's 1. The derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So we can use now the direct substitution using this equation. So since x approaches to negative 6, so we have 4 times negative 6 plus 9. So there is no need to put this uh, denominator 1. Then simplify, so 4 times negative 6, that's negative 24 plus 9. And negative 24 plus 9, that's negative 15. So this is now the limits. Then for this given, so using this L'Hopital's rule, so find the derivative of this numerator. So the derivative of x to the power 3, that's 3x, minus 1 for the exponent to the power 2. The derivative of a constant, this one is 0, then over the derivative of this denominator, the derivative of x, that's 1, the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So from this equation, using direct substitution, so x approaches to 2, so we have 3 times 2 to the power 2. So there's no need to put the denominator because this one is equal to 1. Then simplify. So we have 3 times 2 to the power 2. This one is 4. So the limits is equal to positive 12. Then for this given, 
So the derivative of x to the power 3, this one is 3x to the power 2. Minus the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x. Minus the derivative of x, that's 1. And the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Over the derivative of 2x to the power 3, so 3 times 2, this one is 6x minus 1 for the exponent to the power 2. Minus 2 times 5, that's 10. Then minus 1 for the exponent, that's x to the power 1. Then plus the derivative of 5x, that's 5. And the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So from this equation, as x approaches to positive 2, so we have now 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 minus 1, then over 6 times 2 squared minus 10 times 2 and plus 5. Then simplify, so 2 squared, that's 4. And 4 times 3, this one is 12. Then negative 2 times 2, this one is negative 4 minus 1. Then over 2 squared, that's 4. And 4 times 6, that's 24. Negative 10 times 2, that's negative 20. And plus 5. Then simplify, so 12 minus 4, that's 8. 8 minus 1, this one is 7, then over 24 minus 20, that's 4, and 4 plus 5, that's 9. So the limits is 7 over 9.